Hi, today I'm going to talk about HTML5 video. Many modern websites show videos. HTML5 provides a standard for showing them. Until now, there has not been a standard for showing a video or movie on a web page. Today, most videos are shown through a plugin like Flash. However, different browsers may have different plugins. HTML5 defines a new element which specifies a standard way to embed a video or movie on a web page using the video tag element. Internet Explorer 9, Firefox, Opera, Chrome, and Safari support the video tag element. Note that Internet Explorer 8 and earlier versions do not support the video, uh, the video tag element. Currently, there are three supported video formats for the video element, which is MP4, WebM, and OGG. To show a video in HTML5, this is all you need. The doc type declaration must be the very first thing in your HTML document before the HTML tag. It is a declaration, not an HTML tag. It is an instruction to your web browser about what version of HTML the page is written in. The HTML tag tells the browser that this is an HTML document. The body tag contains all the document body. It contains all the content of HTML document. The video tag specifies the video, such as movie clip or other video streams. Control attribute represent control values which specifies that video control should be displayed such as play and pause button. It is also a good idea to include width and height attributes. If height and width are set, the page is required for the video is reserved when the page is loaded. However, without this attribute, the browser does not know the size of the video and cannot reserve the appropriate space to it. The effect will be that the page layout will change during the loading while the video load. You should also insert text between the video tag for browser that do not support the video element. The video element allows multiple resource element. Source element can link to different video files. The browser will use the first recognized format. The source tag used to specify multiple media resources on media element. SRC attribute represents SRC values which specifies the URL or location of the video file. What it is? This is MIME, represent for multipurpose internet extension, internet mail extension. It is originally used to identify non ASCII part of the email message composed during the MIME specification, but of course they are used as expanded to other protocols. So a good programming ethic is should always write uh, the complete way the complete. Uh, program or code required for a uh, specific uh, tasks well let, let's see how it runs so this is this is how it looks like with uh, specified height and width and the default control buttons so if I click play and there is a sound coming in So it's working, right? Well, the second part actually is DOM property. So what is HTML DOM? It is a standard object model for HTML, a standard programming interface for HTML, and a W3C standard, which stands for World Wide Web Consortium. HTML5 has DOM prop has DOM methods, properties, and events for the video and audio elements. These methods, properties, and events allow you to manipulate video and audio elements using the JavaScript. There are methods for playing, pausing, and loading. For example, there are properties like duration and volume. There are also DOM events that can notify you when the video element begins to play, pause, ended, etc.
the example in a simple way address to use a video element read and set properties and call method sorry the example is created to use a simple play pause button and resize control for the video it calls two method play and pause and it also used two properties pause and width so let's get started what is div tag div tag defines a division or a section in an html document it is used to group block elements to format them with css or cascading style sheet What is style? Style is used to define style information for an HTML document. Inside the style element, you can specify how HTML elements should render in a browser. Well, in this example, I want to make uh, the video in is in the center. So, uh, so let's get going. The text align property specifies the horizontal alignment for of the text in an element it centers the value the center value centers the text the button tag defines a clickable button inside the button element you can put content like text or images this is the difference between this element and button created with the input element which we don't talk now the on click event occurs when the use when the user click on an event well this is merely a function created for this specific example and the, the and the definition is written in the script script tag these are br tag inserts a single line break it is an empty tag which means that it has no end tag well, this part is actually the uh, same as the previous. But what is this? What is this? This ID attribute specifies a unique ID for an HTML element. The value must be unique within the HTML document. It is the most used to point to the style in style sheet and by JavaScript via HTML DOM to manipulate the element with the specific ID. The script tag is used to define a client side script such as a JavaScript. The script element either contains scripted statement or points to an external script file through SRC attribute. Common uses for JavaScript are image manipulation, form validation, and dynamic changes of content. Var tags are freeze tags. They are not deprecated, but it is possible to achieve rich effect with CSS. Well, uh, this is merely a way to address video uh, to use in the function to be defined play post function is uh, created to make the video play or pause during the playback note that uh, we didn't insert controls uh, controls word here which is when the uh, web page is launched there are no default control menus on the bottom or on the bar of uh, of the video so these three other functions are self explained make big change the width to the biggest of all of this all of the three five six o make small turns it to three two o and make normal turns the width to four two o so let's see how it show how it how it goes
so this is the video note that I'll, I'll say that there is no menu on button uh, on the button so the only way to play is to click on the menu so there is this pause and I could make it big small or normal notice how it changed so that's it guys that's all the basic you need to know understand and practice before advancing to the much more difficult part of the HTML see you later people